What's going on everyone? AD here. Welcome back to more Kinchi Iron Man. If you didn't see the previous episode, I'd definitely recommend checking it out. We had Mr. Wolf go on a journey over into the Fogland to prove that he is going to become the best martial artist. I, weren't sh I wasn't sure if he was going to make it out alive, but he did. And uh, he is a new man. If, as you take a look here, he's got robotic limbs uh, replacements. And uh, he is super fast. Um, and he is ready uh, to continue his training and try to be the best martial artist. He's got a long way to go yet, but uh, with his new robotic replacements, hopefully he will uh, get there. And uh, we also got the Holy Nation uh, somewhat coming their way here. And we've got the Flotsam allies, our buddies, kind of hanging out. As you can see, they're kind of just populating our town, um, making themselves at home. But... Yeah, they're, uh, they're gonna be helping us out, and, oh, we're getting attacked here by, uh, hungry bandits, it looks like. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> Get in there, boys. Oh, yeah, you guys walked into the wrong, the wrong camp. Oh, yeah, good job, guys. Alright, yeah, we gotta repair the gate. Get that thing down. Um, but yeah, we've got Holy Nation coming in very soon. This is going to be interesting. And a lot of other... Whoa. A lot of other stuff going on over here, too. Wow. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, the Ninja Squad is back. Mr. Killer and I are back here as well. We're going to be doing some crafting probably in this episode if we survive this assault from the Holy Nation. So we'll see what happens. If you guys want to see more Kinchi Iron Man in the future, don't forget to subscribe. So you don't miss any new episodes. And uh, I'm going to be doing some kind of like story episodes every once in a while. Kind of like how I did with Mr. Wolf. Uh, I'm going to give everybody kind of like their own story. And they're going to go and do their own thing. Um, maybe with the help of a couple of other people as well in the squad. But uh, if everybody survives, eventually they're going to get their own kind of like story. And and uh, I think that's a lot of fun. I like to role play in between... Um, you know, the gameplay, so, um, it, I think it's a lot of fun kind of switching between roleplay and, and actual gameplay, so, uh, yeah, looks like they're getting here very soon, I don't think we're gonna have time to do anything here with getting our turrets up, unfortunately, um, let's see, we're gonna have to, yeah, we need a bunch of iron plates, All right, well, let's see here. Yeah, I think we'll just wait until they get here because we're not going to have this done in time. However, while we wait for the Holy Nation to get here, I'm going to have Torquinator kind of trade off some of the equipment that we got and kind of hook some people up with some better gear. So let me see what I can do real quick here. All right, so I went ahead and gave everybody um, some black plate jackets and white plate jackets who needed them. Uh, let's see, I've given Amistein the assassin rags for right now and also a flared helmet so got some better protection there. Uh, Torquinator still has pretty much the same gear. Reacted has a better hat um, and a plate jacket. Night Fury has the Ranger Masterwork crossbow. Crazy Lizard has the Eagle's Cross crossbow. And Cryo Assassin has a uh, spring bat, specialist grade, and plate jacket. So uh, we got some better armor on our people now, which is great. Before, uh, <laughs> before they get here, let's go ahead and repair the gate and uh, prepare for their assault. Okay, the Holy Nation army is right outside our gates. Here they come. Wow, that is a lot of dudes. Um, everybody's about 40 attack except for the holy servants these guys here the uh, least amount of armored guys they don't do as much damage but we got to watch out for the holy uh, the inquisitors there's two of them this, this is going to be a bloody battle right here we also have a couple of our allies just walking around outside i guess patrolling the area okay well let's see here let's get some people on the turrets Let's get a uh, crazy lizard on this turret up here. And let's get Night Fury on this one. 
And yeah, we're gonna need everybody. I will carry out Okrin's will. Enemy of Okrin, you've dodged your reckoning long enough. <laughs> now see, if we had turrets, we'd be able to peg them from right here. You will be purged once and for all. Oh god. Purged in the fire of Okrin, we'll all, where all horrors of flot flotsam be uh, belong. Alright, here they come. We gotta protect Crazy and Night Fury, because they're gonna do some damage. Alright, nice. Alright, boys. Spread out. Attack all. Hold on, let's have some group to go this way. Another group. Uh, go to the right. There we go. And we'll kind of meet in the middle here. Alright, attack all, guys. Hold on, Torquinator, take off your jacket. Or your backpack, rather. And... Yeah, everybody's full still. I need I need some room. Alright, that's good enough. Go for it. Oh, boy. Wow. I can't even see what's going on. There's so many people. Mr. Wolf taking on a paladin by himself. Oh, Gus getting crushed over here. Oh, Gus is down. Crazy now being double teamed. Come on, where's our allies? Get in here. Oh, I'm down. Alright, we got a couple people up. Starth is still up. Oh my god. Wow. We got destroyed. Our flotsam allies. Uh, Torquinator is still up. Amistein's still going. Oh my goodness. We got destroyed. Where's Maul at? Allied reinforcements was defeated on their way to Moonshine. Oh yeah, a lot of them left. A lot of them left our base. I don't know how they got out. Oh, jeez. Wow, we got we got royally messed up here. All right, stay down, boys. Just stay down. Oh. oh gosh! Wow. Mr. Killer is back up. All right, everybody just stay down. Oh, because everybody go uh, sneak mode. There, oh, there's Maul, I think. Nope, that's not her. Oh, man. Okay, now what are they doing? Holy assault against Moonshine has ended. Okay. Is anybody dying? Apple, just stay down. Why are you guys getting up? Just stay down. Let them let them go because you're just going to get your ass beat. All right, everybody's playing dead. I don't think anyone is de uh dying. Which is great. Uh, Gus is about to lose his left leg, though. Wow, this is insane. So, one of the things I did is I I also increased the raid uh, size, the, the squad size, and the raid size. So, things are a little going to be more difficult going forward. Alright, so we'll see what happens here if they leave... It looks like they are going to leave us. We'll see if we can uh, rescue our Flotsam allies. We got a lot of them down. Now we got a bunch of raptors in our base eating all our crops. Oh boy.
All right, so yeah, the Holy Nation is leaving. Thank goodness. Okay, so we're gonna have to uh, <laughs> heal up. Let's see if anybody lost any limbs or anything. Uh, hold on a second. Let me go into the uh, squad AI. We need to heal allies. Uh, we got to make sure that we have that checked. And let's go heal our, our buddies. We got a paladin getting back up. And we're currently fighting raptors. Oh, we actually... Oh, we're fighting a couple paladins. Oh, crap. Come on, Torquinator. Oh, Torquinator's down. Gus is down. Damn it. Alright, we need these paladins to leave because... We are just getting royally screwed here. Believe it or not, we don't have anybody dying, though, which is, uh, pretty interesting. I honestly can't believe that we didn't lose anyone in this battle. That was intense. We got, it's a mess in here. <laughs> Alright, we've got to repair the gate. What's going on over here now? We have paladins fighting... Like, bandits and stuff. Alright, whatever. We gotta repair the gate. We gotta get some turrets up ASAP. That's the number one priority here. Uh, because I have a feeling these assaults are gonna keep happening. So let's close the gate. Let's repair the gate. We also gotta get the walls, uh... We gotta get the walls up so we can put more turrets on the walls. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty much the number one step here. What an amazing battle, though. I can't believe it. We did heal some of our allies. They're going to be down for a little while. Um, we do have a couple paladins uh, indoors. Looks like. Ugh. We got... Somebody died. I don't know. Maul seemed to disappear. It's like she said, Yeah, I don't think we're going to win this battle. And she slipped out the back somehow. Being the ninjas that they are, they probably climbed the back wall. <laughs> we can uh, use the faction uniform if we want. But uh, I'm probably not even going to take their gear because it's not even that good. Wow, they died. Well, you had a lot of Flotsam die too. That's crazy. Look at that. Dead, dead. Everybody's dead. Do we have any that are getting back up? Okay, this one's in a recovery coma. Yeah, this one is... Only two in a recovery coma? What happened to all the other ones? Okay, here's another one. Yeah, it's like everybody bailed on us. Oh well. That was pretty awesome though. Okay, we gotta get, we gotta get to work. We're gonna put Darth on rescue duty. He's gonna run around and try and rescue everyone. Pick everyone up and put them in a bed. Meanwhile, I'm gonna drop off some equipment here with a couple people that we have. Just put uh, put everything in storage for now. Clear out everyone's inventory, and then we're gonna get started making some iron plates and uh, getting our turrets up. We're gonna have Torquinator try and clean up this mess, and I think we also have bandit demands coming fairly soon. Um, well, that's fine. We'll deal with it when the time comes. We've got uh, a bunch of people over here. Crazy Lizard, Yeflin, Gus, and a couple others uh, working on getting the iron plates as quick as we can. This is a manual iron refinery. Um, we need to get... Actually, Crazy needs to do some research. Hold on, let me get him back out of here. I gotta get him back doing research. Um, let me get... Somebody else. Reacted wing. Get down there. We need as many people making plates as possible. Alright, I've grabbed all the research books off of Rolo. So Crazy is filled up here with ancient science books and uh, some other stuff. Let's have him uh, come up here to the research bench and uh, see if he can research anything else here. Let's just drop all this in. There we go. And, yeah, let me see what uh, we can do here. 
tech wise. Alright, we could do outpost type 3. That takes two engineering research. I think we're gonna go straight for tech level 5 first. Um, harpoon turrets MK2. Let's go with that. Yeah, let's go with advanced harpoonery and all that. We're gonna need those. Wow, ore drill. Let's go with that. Let's get up all the industry stuff. Alright, so right now we've got iron plates 4 being uh, researched, and then we have a bunch of other stuff. Harpoon turrets, outpost uh, type 3 and 4, and a couple other things that we need. So that'll be good. I'm also going to have Crazy go down here and trade with Apple and get that AI core, because uh, we need that as well. Might as well take all this other junk. And... Yeah, let me uh, just drop all this stuff in the general storage. For now, we can sort it out later. Put all the weapons in there. There we go. Alright, yeah, the AI core we need for something specific. I can't remember what it is. Let me just take a look. Um, ooh, automated mining tech. That would actually be really good, but I think there's something else, isn't there? What else do we need an AI core for? Well, I guess we'll get uh, automated mining tech, and then we'll get advanced stone mining. That'll really help out. All right, crazy, you'll be busy for a while. Oh, we got bandits. Oh, wow, there's a lot of bandits. <laughs> uh, they like to come right when we're in the middle of something here. Okay. All right, boys, get over here. Need everyone again. Hold on, let's get uh, Crazy on the turret, Night Fury on this turret. Go for it, guys. Alright, charge in, take him out. Looks like they're coming in a few at a time, which is great. I'm not too worried about the uh, the bandits. I think we can take them. Oh man, here they all come. Oh, somebody's limb went... <laughs> Go sod yourself. The hell crawled up your ass and died, he says. As he's, his arm or his leg went flying up in the air. You guys don't want to mess with us. Oh, we got our ally up. Nice. Oh, we've taken the battle outside now. Mr. Wolf is chasing this guy down. <laughs> oh, we got a uh, Flotsam chasing after these guys. Oh, they're running. Alright, that's fine. Let's come back in and back to work here. This isn't going to be a problem once we get turrets. I'm going to build a iron refinery uh, 2 here. And this it takes 22 iron plates, but this will make getting iron plates a lot faster than the manual one. So, hopefully we can get that built. We're going to have to actually buy some iron plates, though, to speed this process up, because it honestly... Uh, it's gonna take forever, so let's have Twerkinator actually come in and drop off some stuff. We're gonna have to take Rolo and... Um... Drop off his equipment and then we'll have Twerkinator run up to the way station, get us some iron plates. Alright. Let's go ahead and have Twerkinator and Rolo head over to the way station. And uh, we're going to pick up some iron plates. I think we've got another bandit raid headed our way. This is insane. I might actually have to turn off, like, or t lower the frequency of attacks. Because it's like non-stop, it seems like. But, uh, we can handle them. Actually, it won't be much of a problem once we get those harpoons up. 
Hey, there's Maul. <laughs> there's Maul right there. Oh, she almost lost her uh, right arm. Make a 45. That's where you've been. You've been running around out here. You bailed on us. What happened? Nowhere in this world is safe. People are either trying to burn us at the stake or they're trying to eat us alive. But at least the cannibals are good for one thing. Target practice. Alright. Uh, never mind. I don't have anything to say to you. Can't believe you bailed on me. She has, uh, like, two Floatsam Jonin guards, apparently. Oh. Are these the bandits that are attacking us? Alright, let's go ahead and lend a hand, then. Let's lend Maul a hand. Twerkinator is a beast. And look at that. Three damage. They can't even get through Twerkinator's armor. <laughs> I don't even have to take off the backpack. Let's see. Oh, Rolo's an elder now. Okay. Oh, it's Maul down. Maul's down again. We can't let Maul die because that would suck. Oh, nice, Rolo. There you go. Alright, hold on. Let's uh, splint injuries on Maul. Yeah, there we go. Wow, more bandits. This is insane. Where are all these bandits coming from? Wow. Good job, Rolo. Oh, nice. Hey, Torkinator and Rolo make a good team. Nicely done. Took a little stomach damage. That's all right. Yeah, it looks like they're headed back to their... I don't know what they're doing, honestly. They're headed back to their base, I guess. Oh, they're, uh, they're fighting more bandits. Maul actually can't attack, apparently. All right, we're going to have to rescue Maul here. Because, uh... Oh, she's got 48 martial artists. That's pretty good. Oh! Crushed. Ooh, we got a farm trader at Moonshine. Okay. Alright, hold on. Let's, uh... I think they can handle this. Good job. Alright, we need... We need iron plates anyway. Come here. Uh, let me go down and buy some iron plates. I'm gonna sell the trader's leathers, mercenary armor, and armored rags. Don't need that. And, yeah, let's buy... I'll buy as many armored plates as I can get. Buy some more med kits, though. Torquinator is just finishing off these guys. <laughs> Not letting them get away. Torquinator's skills are pretty good. 36 katanas. 51 melee defense. That is insane. 47 precision shooting. Wow. Torquinator's made it to the way station. Rolo got knocked out by another bandit, but uh, Torquinator finished him off. So no big deal. Alright, let's put him down. And uh, let him hang out there for now. And, yeah, let's get some iron plates, sell what we have. <laughs> we made one... Uh, did we sell that for anything? No, I guess not. I guess we didn't make uh, any money off of selling a severed human right arm. Rolo and Twerkinator are loaded up on iron plates. Uh, so that should be enough to get the harpoons up. And... Uh, we should have enough copper and stuff to get them going, but uh, we also have a, another raid. It looks like the Black Dragon Ninjas 
uh, are going to be coming in pretty soon. So I'll have to keep an eye out on that. But Torquenator and Roller are going to head back to Moonshine. Hopefully we can get there before this next assault. Oh, we got some fighting in here. What's going on? We still have some Flotsam allies taking out some holy servants left over. Nice, dude. Torquenator and Rolo have arrived. We've got this, uh, this assault coming by. Oh, wait. Don't leave, guys. I'm locking you in here. Oh. Yeah, stay here. I need you. <laughs> yeah, it looks like everybody's uh, trying to get back to Mall or whatever. I'm going to lock a few in here, because how big is this assault? Alright, here we go. These are the Black Dragon Ninjas. These guys look pretty boss. It's interesting. We haven't um, seen these guys before. I really like this spot. We're getting attacked from every faction in the game. Literally, every faction is coming in. It's so cool. But it's, it's unbelievable how often they come. We can... Uh, we can change the game settings, though, to uh, make it so that there's not as many attacks, which thanks thanks to the developer for doing that. Because uh, if we take a look at the options really quick, you can go into gameplay, and you can see here, um, I've increased the town raid size up to 1. Uh, 1.15. Town raid's frequency is just at 1, so we might have to lower that just a little bit. Um... And then town attacks frequency. So, anyway. We have to play around with it and see. I'm curious to know if these guys are just going to straight up attack us. Or if they want us to pay them money. So, let's take a look and see what happens with these guys. The lady wants decent loot and that's what we're going to get her. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Looks like you guys are... Gonna straight up attack. This shithole better have a decent load. <laughs> shithole, what shining hole do you think you just crawled out of? Maybe we should move in. Once a shitholer, always a shitholer. I ain't made for luxury. Alright, here they come. Alright, we got crazy on the turret. Night Fury, get over here, man. Get on the turret. Let them come. All right, we need everybody else over here, though. Go for it, guys. Watch out, Night Fury. <laughs> We're in a fight for our lives again. Mr. Killer getting taken five on one over there. Nicely done, Darth. Oh, Mr. Wolf. Look at that. He is showing them what's up. He's doing a ton of damage. Well done, Amistein. Amistein's left arm's hurting a little bit. Wow. Well done. We haven't seen the Black Dragons before. They have crappy gear, though. Oh, one of our Flotsam allies got knocked out. Alright, that's cool. Where's the, uh, the leader? Usually the leader has some good gear. There's, there's a war leader over there. Let's check him out. Nah, he's got junk. Cool. No big deal. Alright, we gotta get these turrets up, so let's keep going, working on those. Alright, so we got uh, four harpoon turrets up right now, which is great. We're going to need uh, to put down another wind generator. We've got one large one. We probably need another large, I think. 
Uh, and we also have a small one that I built right here, which doesn't seem to be working. Um, as you can see, it's probably behind the building, so it's not catching any wind, unfortunately. So I might have to just dismantle that one and rebuild it. I'm sending Torquenator back to the way station. We need more iron plates. We gotta speed this up a bit. Torquenator is at the way station. Let's just buy 28 iron plates. Oh, we can't hold that many, I don't think. Oh, we already have advanced harpoonery research already known. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just sell that blueprint. And I'll take as many iron plates as possible, and I think that'll be it. Alright, let's run back and see if we can finish a couple more projects here. Alright, we've got the Iron Refinery 2 done. We can upgrade it again, but I think what I'll do is just get Reacted Wing over here. And we'll have... Yeah, we'll have two uh, refineries going. And we'll keep Mr. Killer on the, uh, the ore drill. I think he's doing pretty well there by himself. That way these guys can produce some plates a lot faster. And we'll probably get Gus on this one. Actually, oh, this one only needs one person. Nice. That's great. Okay. Alright, let's get Amistein and Cryo Assassin up here on the turrets. We've got two, uh, two Swamp Raptors attacking the gate. I'm repairing it with Torquenator. And, yeah, let's just go up there and, and shoot them to death. Keep two guys up on the turrets for protection. Let's take a look. Oh! Oh, I missed. Uh, I missed the... There we go. Let's see. See if he's got a good shot at it. Oh, I think they're both down. Well done. There we go. And we can upgrade these turrets again. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll wait a little bit on that. That's great. We'll keep two people up there, and that'll give us some protection. One other thing I want to do is build uh, some interior stuff. I want to build some benches and, and some things for people to kind of rest. I think we'll build a bench. Uh, a couple benches here. Where people can kind of just hang out. Yeah, maybe we'll put a rug. Alright, so this is what I got. I built a little carpet. I've got a table and some stools. And a couple sitting pill pillows and benches. So this will be a good little spot for people to kind of just like relax and um, hang out. And we'll, we'll put that in there in the tower. So in case somebody attacks, uh, they'll be close by. And uh, we'll probably do the same thing elsewhere as well. Uh, and some of these other buildings too. And as you can see, people are going and sitting down automatically, which is pretty cool. So if they're idle, they'll go around and just sit in stools and stuff. Which is pretty neat. I like that. Um, and you can turn off those settings in the uh, AI control panel. Um, so you can set, set it to sit when idle. You can turn that off if you don't want people sitting when they're idle but I think it adds a little life to the game uh, the other thing I want to do is upgrade these walls we need to get these walls upgraded so let's just finish this project really quick and uh, then we'll get the walls upgraded I think we have enough building materials we got like 32 uh, we'll probably need some more though All right, we're just putting the finishing touches on our wall. We've got our wall upgraded all the way here. All the way around, so that's great. Uh, so now we can defend it a little bit properly. And if we want to expand, which we probably will, we'll expand out this way uh, eventually. Because uh, we're going to be building more homes and stuff for everyone to give everybody their own little house. So that'll be pretty cool. But for now, that's good. We got the, uh, the walls upgraded. Um, and now what we can do is put down a ramp. And we'll put a ramp right there. And... 
Uh, I'm not actually going to put any turrets on this side. I'm just going to put maybe two right there. So, I don't think we need a ramp elsewhere. So I'll just put one ramp. And Torquenator's going to come and build that. There we go. And, oh yeah, get that spotlight built. It's two iron plates and two electrical components. There we go. Nice. Looking good. Okay, now let's just put down a few uh, turrets here. I don't think we need the light turrets, so we'll just put a... Um, I guess mounted crossbows over here. So we'll put one and two. And yeah, I think two will be enough. I don't think we'll need more than that. And that should do it. Once we get that uh, wind generator up, that'll be great. Um, we'll have enough power to uh, keep things running for a while. But uh, yeah, we got a lot more stuff to do. We're going to get into some crafting here, uh, probably in the next episode, now that we can kind of defend our base a bit from all of these attacks. Uh, things shouldn't be as bad going forward. So if you guys want to see more Kinchi Iron Man in the future, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time. Take care.